Welcome to a Christmas episode of Charlotte Drives. To just start this video by saying thank you to uh, a little boy called Alfie. <laughs> he gave me this Christmas card, this I Love Lotus Christmas card, uh, wh uh, while I was dropping my daughter off at school. Uh, he said, Dear Lotus Man, in brackets Charlie, have a Merry Christmas, hope you have a wonderful day from Alfie. P.S. I love your Aurora, it sounds brilliant, it's music to my ears, not exaggerating, it's true. Anyway, have a wonderful Christmas. That was kind of nice, um, I have to admit. So, um, Alfie, if you're watching this, uh, get permission from your parents or I can take you out for a spin in the, in the Aurora that you love so much. Um, anyway, let's get on with the video. Today you join me uh, on a, well, wintry episode. It's a bit chilly at the moment, <laughs> hence the shorts. What we'll be doing today is fitting winter tyres to the new Avora GT410. Now, these wheels, as you can see, are already fitted. So, uh, these are actually the original wheels from the Avora 400 that we got rid of. Um, so these are the winter tyres that got fitted to the car. I was, I was actually running these last year on the Evora 400. I didn't do a video on that um, last year, but it'd be, it'd be interesting to see how the GT410 uh, runs with these new winter tyres on. Um, it, I have to admit, it's cold mornings when the roads are a little bit icy, or even if it's just generally a little bit cold the GT410 is um, a little bit scary to drive when the roads are a little bit icy. I'll take the wheels out now just to give you a comparison. After a little wash, uh, gonna take the tires now to get them done. I would do it myself, but I just haven't got time. So there's a great little place down the road that will do this for us. Um, but yeah, just so, just 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 have a look a little bit more in detail on exactly what I've got and what I'll be running on the car, just so that you know and how much they cost and you know just all that general stuff. A bit of commu con consumer advice if you are planning on running your Avora in the winter and you get particularly icy conditions or just very cold roads. Basically, what we're looking at here, these are Michelin Pilot Alpines. So, uh, these are Alpine 4s. Um, they are exactly the same size as the Cup 2s that I've got. So, we're looking at 235, 35s, 19s um, on the Pilot Sports at the front. So these are exactly the same. Let's just double check that they are. 235, 35, 19, yep. And on the back, yeah, 285, 30, 20 on the Pilot Sports at the back. And the Alpines are the same size. Let me double check, 285, 30, 20. So yeah, all ready to have the car fitted with new winter tires. See how it goes. We've got the winter tyres fitted to the car now. The the difference it makes uh, in this cold in this cold weather is incredible. It really is. Obviously, the Cup Two tyres, when fitted and up to temperature, are grippy as hell. They stick to the road. Um, the car, honestly, like it already has shed loads of grip. Um, but obviously during the winter time, because of the sort of nature of use of this car, I, I probably use it more than the average uh, GT410 Sport owner will use theirs um, during the winter. Um, my philosophy is you have these cars, these cars have been built to be driven. Yeah, okay, there's probably a bit of salt on the roads and stuff, but hey, um, as, long as, you get, as long as I wash the car properly and everything like that, who cares? And, and you know, these cars are built to a lot more modern standards. They should be able to withstand the roads um, and the road conditions. But generally, I do plan to drive this car a fair amount over the winter. Obviously, we've got the Boxster. The Boxster is now back and back up and running now. So that's good. But 
yeah, these 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 tyres they give so much grip, and it just gives you that extra bit of confidence when driving in these sort of conditions within the cold temperatures. It was a bit of fun getting the back to come around a little bit um, on cold mornings and stuff. But when you're when you're driving when you're driving normally, you might not be expecting it to happen. You naturally become aware of the inputs that you're putting into the car when there's less grip. So just adding these additional, just adding these winter tires for, you know, the three or four months that I'm going to be running the car with, it kind of makes, it makes it worthwhile. The tires don't get overly worn during that period of time. So again, I'll get to use them next year. Um, but just to go into a little bit more depth in the actual tyres themselves, the tyres that I'm running are Michelin Alpine 4s. Um, how much did they cost me? Yeah, sorry, just had to pull over to check the cost of the tyres. Well, the fronts and the backs were uh, £613. Um, yeah, so £613. But the nice thing about these tyres is they, as I said, they'll last um, they'll last for quite a few winter seasons because they're only getting used sort of semi-regularly so yeah pretty good um, quite happy with that and the quality of the tyres are pretty damn awesome Whoop. yeah the grip is great I mean the roads are fairly dry today but you really still do feel that these tyres are great all-round performers. If you are thinking about fitting winter tyres onto your Lotus Evora, and it doesn't have to be a GT410 if you own a, uh, an Evora 400. I was running these tyres on my Evora 400 last year, and they were incredible. see the carbon fiber in that so yeah very glad we decided to do PPF on the car but yes anyway um, but the car has done just over 500 miles so still a little bit running in keeping the revs uh, below 4,000 rpm uh, the majority of the time so um, got to keep driving these things obviously the sea the season the season for sort of going out and going for drives and stuff is, is very much over. Um, although I'd quite like to sort of take take the, the car on a trip when the weather starts getting a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of keeping it to sort of shorter journeys at the moment. Um, I would love to do a bit of a European road trip as well. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, if you're liking these videos, please get subscribed. Um, the channel's kind of, you know, it's kind of building a bit of traction now. Uh, I, I know I can't post videos regularly all the time. Um, I do have to focus on my day job, unfortunately, sometimes. Do let me know in the comments what you would like me to cover with this car. I do have plans to do a bit more of an in-depth video on the GT410 itself after sort of living with it for sort of 500 miles. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if I don't do another video before Christmas, hope you have a good Christmas, um, and a happy new year. We will certainly get some more content out in 2020. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you for the next video. Cheers. Bye.